Hi all, welcome to this Team of the Week 23 predictions video. Safe to say this Team of the Week is going to be saved by one player potentially and even then it is absolutely awful and be fully aware folks I will go through the, um, the top possible as well at the near enough the end of the team so like don't try and like rush in if I'm not, obviously not suddenly got um, Mbappe or Lewandowski I'll explain all that um, later on in the video but because Fashwick's obviously would, would be much appreciated. Comment down below, as I said, who you think will make Team of the Week 23, and of course, let me know if there is anyone I've missed, and also just kind of run through um, everyone as usual. As they said, main, this is the main team that I'm thinking for now, and then obviously the final predictions I'll probably update on Twitter tomorrow um, regarding certain teams. Um, but at the moment, um, Geeky Wits is my main goalie, six saves and a clean sheet. Second in form for him, looks pretty academic. Nice dynamic actually, if that was to happen, I'd quite like that. Um, but yeah, some of the dynamics I went looking for quite hard. Some were quite nice, some were absolutely awful for him to nab, but hey ho. Uh, Stefan Savage, one goal clean sheets, but I think it was 1400 days or something he said, or it was some weird statistic. Um, I'll try and find it again, I'll maybe make notes on Twitter or whatever. But should get in Team of the Week, Joe Felix, I don't feel enough for one goal um, for him. Ruben Diaz, um, one goal and a clean sheet and an, uh, what, sorry, one goal and an eight on Sky, sorry, with Man of the Match. He didn't get a clean sheet, which was a bit annoying, would have been perfect, but um, Stone didn't get in. Ruben Diaz seems the most viable. Um, yes, he's got a future stars, but you need to juice up the Team of the Week and Prem needs options and he is one of them. Aaron Barry, goal of the season contender, honestly a peach. Watch the highlights if you've not seen that goal, absolute class, one goal and should be pretty academic. Arnold, bit of a punt with one assist, but I'm lacking options. And when you're lacking options, you kind of need players, and he is kind of where I'm going with it. Um, Wolfsburg's going to get someone a feel, and he seems most viable. That's kind of the way I looked at it in the end. Um, okay, Charwick, one goal and a man of the match in the Russian League. I only knew he got man of the match because I actually went looking for the dynamic and it told, and it was basically the dynamic I was initially looking for um, had the man of the match trophy but it was not, he had his tracksuit up I was like, ah, pity, not his shirt because it showed he was showing his shirt with the track, I was like, you can't do anything you can't get that, but never mind uh, Goretzka should be pretty academic, three assists enough said really Goosens, one goal, should be pretty academic as well despite um, Gazetta giving Romero man in the match again and again, it would have helped if it hadn't got in last week but hey ho, it is what it is. Messi should get in, three goals over three, uh, two games, two goals for, against Elche, one against Sevilla and should be pretty academic really regardless of like Marker giving a free or whatever, he should get in. Striker I believe is where he played for both games, so that should help his cause. Myron Badu a hat trick. I believe he's the youngest hat trick since nineteen eighty three or something or eighty four, whatever it was. It was a Van Basten start. I seen the statistic on the internet on Twitter when I was getting the dynamic, so fair play on him. Now Bale looks set for an inform, so that one to watch seeing a nice little boost, so can't go wrong with that. Um, especially since he got two goals, one assist and a man of the match with Sky. Um, so, um, obviously if you've seen his price go through the roof, that is one of the big reasons why, and, but yeah, he is definitely probably the only other player, I would say, that makes the Team of the Week worthwhile. But I was honestly thinking he would have been a man of the match card for the Europa League and then potentially you could have been looking at Human Sun which would have made this a bit more um, juiced up but unless Bale suddenly gets a what if which some people are starting to circulate as um, an option. Uh, Skorupski, eight, sa 8 saves and 8 on Gazeta with a clean sheet should be pretty academic. The, um, Donnarumma is the alternative with 6 saves but I feel we could even have a free goal free goalkeeper week, who knows. Diallo one assist and a clean sheet, but it's a bit of a punt, but um, Mbappe ain't happening because of UCL one of the matchup. Danilo Pereira is the alternative, but I just went Diallo for defenders. The Hood one goal, been playing really well of late, and is it an inform is kind of deserved of a foreign player. El Ghazi one goal and an eight on Sky, he was man of the match. 
it's not the most clinical, but it is what it is. Eatling is going to get one player. The question is, is it Diamante or Diego Castro? Uh, Diamante got two assists, Diego Castro two goals. Both were class in their respective games. I just couldn't decide who. I was like, who can I drop? And I was like, can I watch both games because they're on early in the morning? So it's like it's a good thing to watch when you're um, like having your breakfast, reading the paper, that kind of thing, and checking um, headline um, other scores and so forth. But see what happens at that one. Uh, Rodriguez in the Argentinian league for Cologne, one goal and two assists. The good thing is he has a base card, not a corner ball card, so it'll be going from 75 to an 81. Endo, two goals, one assist for Stuttgart, 5 1 should be pretty academic. This is one card nobody wants. Bartley, one goal, clean sheet, and an 8 on Sky. Uh, he was man of the match, and he could be a silver star, but I am kind of rooting for him to actually make the team of the week. Some people will have Johnston, West Brom's against someone. Is it Bartley or uh, Johnston? But I think it'll be Bartley. Uh, Pridjevic got a hat trick despite missing a penalty. Should be pretty academic. Uh, Vieto was the initial shout from the league until he happened. Um, Guri one goal, one assist, and L- Lorient two goals in the French league for the discard options this week. Over for top possibles: McLaren and Berisha two goals, one assist. Halstenberg one assist. Gabriel Salasi one goal. Luyen Dama and Cook one assist in a clean sheets. Ryan Niga, Akintola, Kaniki two goals. Lalic, Andre Andre one goal each. Puke three goals over two games. Brayfleet two assists. D2 two goals. Mulders one goal one assist. Pilsen Gronveld um, one goal in their games. Victor Sanchez two goals. Iverson seven saves in a clean sheet. Matt two goals. Diaz two goals one assist. Moise Keane one goal and a seven on the keep. Um, Jane Sancho obviously one goal one assist but he's a what if card. Richard Sanchez, one goal, one assist. Malinowski, one goal. Siok Banu, two goals. Bogowski, two goals. David Luiz, one goal. Amuzu, one goal, one assist. Lawrence, one goal. Vieto, one goal, one assist. Don Ruma, seven saves. Then one for Norton Footer, Almogren, Biron, and Abreu. They three could have had a shout. Uh, especially Almogren for a hat trick. Um, Biron for three one goals, one assist, but it is what it is. And then for Silver Star, Bazur. Abubakar and Amuzu seem like my three most viable shoots. Bazur one goal, one assist and a seven on VI. Abubakar one goal, one assist and Amuzu one goal, one assist against Standard Liege for Anderlecht. Um, see what happens, folks. Um, Bartley could even sneak in as the Silver Star as well. As I said, so I've made that, that card as well. So, four potential options that um, seem viable for this week. But let me know, folks, in the comments below who you think could make the Silver Stars this week and the main team of the week. Much like always, sub to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.